So we're here in Adobe Fireworks. To open up a new document, click File, New, or Command or Control N. In the dialog box, enter your width at 850 pixels and your height at 500. Leave the background as white and then click OK. I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to be using within this tutorial. Now the selection tool, notice that there's a little arrow next to the selection tool. This means that there are other tools hiding behind it. If you click and hold on the icon, a menu will open and then you can hover over the tools that you require and then release the mouse button. The subselection tool is used to select grouped objects and manipulate them. The rectangle tool is used to, to draw rectangles as the name suggests and the text tool is used to write on the canvas. Notice that the rectangle tool has a little triangle underneath its icon. Just like the selection tool, we can click and hold on the icon and then release the mouse button to select the tool you've hovered over. Over on the right, we have some panels. We're only going to be using a few of them. I'm going to open up the alignment panel, the layers panel, and collapse the styles panel by double clicking on it. I'm going to explain the alignment tool later on or in another video. The layers panel is similar to Photoshop with auto selection. That means when we select an object on the canvas, the corresponding layer is selected as well. We can hide and show the object by clicking on the eyeball as well as lock the layer in place using this icon here. We can also create a folder to group all our layers together. Once the folder is selected, we can also create more objects within a selected folder. Just make sure that the folder is selected when drawing new objects. I've included some resources and files in the exercise folder. Once you've unzipped the exercise folder, you can open it by clicking File, Open, then select the file and click Open. Now this file is an editable PNG. I've included some of the inspiration designs to help us create our wireframe. Notice that there's three images in the layers panel. I can hide each of the layers to reveal what's behind it. Then I can click on the same icon to reveal the images back again. Going back to our document, we need to delete these objects on the canvas. So click on the blank space on the canvas and then select over these objects here and then press the delete key. We're going to start out with our wireframe and remember we want to copy the layout from the audio capture page and we'll be using the borders as well. So we'll have the logo above, the form on the left and our splash image on the right. We'll start by creating the outer borders. Going back to our document, we'll draw a rectangle on our canvas by clicking the rectangle tool and then clicking and dragging on the canvas. Make sure the rectangle is set to 700 pixels by 310 pixels in height. Make sure the fill color is white, set the border color to light gray and the border thickness to 6 points. Next, we will lay out the form and the button by drawing two squares. The form field will be set to 225 by 40 pixels in height. Choose a light grey for this rectangle. Select the button and set it to 110 pixels by 40 pixels in height. Then change the colour to a dark grey. Now we just want to add an instruction to tell the user to enter their email address. Select the text tool on the toolbar or press the letter T. Click just above the capture form and type in enter your email address for updates. Since we have our text tool selected, we can type out our logo. Just click above on the canvas and type in the word logo. Finally, we'll create the splash image. We could just draw out the rectangle to illustrate this, but I decided that our wireframe should be as detailed as possible. So we're going to draw out the Apple LED display. We'll start by drawing out the bottom portion. Press U to select the rectangle tool, draw out the rectangle and set it to 110 pixels by 10 pixels in height. Set the colour to a dark grey. Now we'll draw another rectangle to complete the bottom portion. Set the width to 60 pixels and the height to 25 pixels. Place it on top of the first rectangle and position it in the middle. We'll draw out the screen and attach them together. Resize the object to 250 to 160 pixels in height and then position it over the stand. Lastly, we'll draw out the LED screen. Select the rectangle tool again 
and draw out a rectangle at about 225 pixels by 120 pixels and then set the color to a light gray. Now we can reposition it in the middle of the case. Now that we have our completed wireframe, we can start on the mock-up.